YAML made it simple. Let's do some SQL today. We are going to work on this Google interview question which was asked in June 2021. We will take notes so that we don't miss out any edge cases. Find the email activity rank for each users. Email activity rank for each users. Email activity rank is defined by the total number of emails sent. Total email total number of emails sent is nothing but the email is sent from the user and received by the to user. So the total number of emails sent is nothing but count based on from address, right? Count based on from from user here. So the user with the highest number of emails sent will have a rank of one and so on. Here they have mentioned the total number of emails. So the rank is different. Rank is a different column which is based on this total total number of emails sent, which is count from star, count from user. Output the user total email and their activity rank. So we have to output three columns. User, user is nothing but from user from our table and total emails is nothing but what we have calculated in here and their activity rank. Activity rank is nothing but the rank that we just calculated based on the count. Order records by total emails in descending order. We have to order by here based on the total emails that we have calculated in descending order and they have also given another condition which is sort users with the same number of emails in alphabetical order so if more than one user have same total count that means we have to order it based on the from user in ascending which is alphabetical in your ranking return a unique value that is unique rank even if multiple users have the same number of emails if the multiple users share the same number of total email count, that means we have to return a unique value. If we take a rank or dense rank, that will not return a unique value for these results, right? Instead, we can use row number. Row number is a function which will return a unique value for each and every everything based on order or anything that we want. I have just written the skeleton here. So what are the items that we are interested in? So we have to output the from user. We can just collect it from the given table. And we are interested in total emails. It's nothing but the count based on user. Ah, oh, sorry. Count star. You can erase it. So based on group by the from user will give us the total email count based on user. And we are also interested in activity rank. So activity rank is calculated using row number since we are not using uh, rank here. We have to use the row number because we need the unique values, which is based on total email count, total email count in descending. And we are also interested in this from user alphabetical since the total count can be same with different users. So to avoid the confusion, we are also using this in this case. And uh, the other condition we are they have given us is order by so we have to order by the total email in descending and from user in alphabetical order which is ascending that's it the code is that simple uh, let's run the so i missed that comma there um, let's check if the solution is right yeah it is right okay so let's see the example here. So 15, the total count is shared by four different individuals. And if you can see C and E, they are following alphabetical order six and seven. So number followed by letter, which is in alphabetical order. You can see that is happening here. And that is it. That's the end of this video. Hope you liked it. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, hopefully we'll see you again soon. Please subscribe and please suggest if you have any different solution to the same problem. Thank you.